Hey, uh, Alexis here. Welcome to the Live Your Yoga YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please hit subscribe. Um, I put videos up every week just getting started. This is the first one, so I'm nervous and excited, but I thank you for being here. We get to learn and grow together. We'll spend the next 29 minutes focusing on gauging the glutes, activating the core, and opening up the hip flexors. It should leave you with a nice sense of stability and uh, space in the lower body here. If you have a couple of blocks available to you, I highly recommend them. You are able to use maybe some books about the same size, just something to help prop you up on a couple of postures, but you don't have to have them. Um, I do always like to remind my students that you are your first teacher. I am simply here to guide you through your practice. If anything ever doesn't feel right within your body, please just take a seat, take a child's pose, and join back in when you're ready. All right, let's get started. So we'll come onto our backs in a reverse Shavasana position, picking up the feet as wide as you comfortably can. I like to do it out past the edges of my mat, arms out nice and wide so if there was a breeze in the room. Wherever you are, you'd feel it underneath your arms. You get the wiggles out, allowing as much of your body to come in contact with your mat as possible. Start at your feet, allow everything to be nice and heavy. Everything just to soften and relax down. You are fully supported, grounded. We take these first few minutes of our practice to notice any awarenesses both in the room around us, internally, and outside of this space. Inhaling, acknowledging any awarenesses you come to, any distractions. And exhale, we let them go. Take a full body breath in through your nose, sipping in as much air as you possibly can. Holding your breath at the top, sip in a little bit more. Open mouth. Do that again. Press your feet towards the front of your mat this time. Interlace your arms up overhead. Full body inhale as you squeeze in. Pause, sip in more. Open mouth. Ujjayi breath engages, pelvic floor draws in, knees come into the chest, maybe curling up into a tiny little ball. Thanking yourself for carving out this little time to take care of you. Come into happy baby, grab onto the outer edges of your feet. Your hips start to lift, that's okay, just bring the heels closer to your groin. Allowing your shoulders to relax down your back, just simply getting started, slowly warming up the body. Maybe it feels good to rock side to side on your mat. Gently bring your knees into your chest, giving yourself a nice big squeeze once again. And stack your knees over your hips, shins come parallel to the earth, interlace your hands at your base of your neck, pull on the back of your neck, elbows are out nice and wide, we're going to curl head, neck, and shoulders up. Take a full body breath in. As you exhale, bring your right foot forward, right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, switch. Inhale. Exhale, switch, sinking your breath to your body movements. Not letting the knees come past the hips. Continuing to reach up, lifting with the core. One more each side. Knees to chest. This time begin to rock back and forth the length of your mat. If it feels good, do it a bunch. If not, simply make your way into a tabletop position. So we'll stack our shoulders over our wrists, hips directly over our knees. 
creating a long flat straight spine inhale drop the belly lift through the heart cow pose exhale cat drop the head lift through the belly moving with breath inhale opening up upper arm bones roll back in cow pose exhale everything draws in and up and cat three more to your breath i like to get low maybe sway from side to side pause where it feels good We'll come straight back to a neutral spine here, focusing on the connection with the earth once again. Grounding into the knuckles underneath your pointer and your middle finger, spreading the weight all the way out through the fingertips. Shift your weight into your left knee, press your right foot straight back, flexing through the toes. We'll inhale, lift the right leg as high as you can without dipping through the belly, drawing the core in and up. Then bend at your right knee and we'll pulse the right foot up for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, extend long. Keep your gaze right inside the right hand. Maybe go for a spinal balance, starting to extend the left hand here. Full body inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to your elbow, round through your back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Last one, reach, round, then we'll reach, stay here or bend into your right knee once again, grab onto your ankle with your left hand, opening up through the heart, three breaths, and if not, just stay squeezing in, extending, last inhale together, gently release, hand, knee come down to the earth. Child's pose, take your knees wide, sink your hips back, extend your chest out in front of you. Your right wrist, your right shoulder, just did a lot of work. Start to reach it underneath your left arm, giving yourself a nice shoulder stretch. Coming back to your ujjayi breath. Left hand can make its way to the right palm, to the low back, or all the way around to the right hip crease. Two more breaths. Inhale, unwind, open up with the right palm, lift it to the sky, exhale, hand to the earth. Take a couple cat cows. Inhale, back to a neutral spine. Press the left foot straight back at your ground. Fingertips grip, pressing into the top of your right foot. Lift your left leg as high as you can. Bend through your left knee. We'll pulse up. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, extend nice and long. Keep your gaze down inside your left palm. Reach the right hand straight out in front of you. Full body inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. Three. Inhale. Two. Inhale. Last one, drawing in. Inhale, reach nice and long. Stay here or bend into your left knee once again. Grab onto your ankle. Go for a little back bend. Drawing the upper arm bones back. Engaging through the core to protect your low back. Gently release. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, right hand, left knee down. Child's pose once again. Left arm threads underneath the right. Right arm finds whatever variation you took on the other side. Inhale, we'll rise back up using that right palm. Left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Exhale your hand down to the earth. Downward facing dog. 
Down dog's gonna look different for a lot of us here, but to really find the length and the lifting in the hip bones, bend at the knees to start. Press your chest back towards your thighs, coming back to those neutral palms, gripping into the fingertips. And draw in through the core as you press, press, press. Then we start to peel the inner ankles back. Press your outer ankles down. Maybe your heels touch, maybe not. But we want to avoid straightening the legs and rounding through the spine. Instead, we'll bend at the knees and straighten the spine. Now we'll take a big breath in together. And an open mouth. Look to your hands. Walk your feet to the front of your mat. Feet face 12 o'clock, either big toes touch or hips with distance apart. Bend your knees enough so your fingertips come down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Straighten the legs as much as you can, bringing the weight into the balls of your feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One vertebrae at a time. On your next inhale, we rise. Head, shoulders, fingertips come last. You reach them all the way up to the sky. Lifting through the heart, kind of going for a little back bend. Exhale, hands through to the heart center. Pausing just to notice how your body feels now versus the beginning of your practice. Inhale, palms and gaze reach. Exhale, fold forward, completely softening at the knees. Inhale, halfway lift to a flat back. Plant your hands, step back into a high plank position. You can always lower your knees down. For this first one, we all will together. Shoulders stack, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower your knees to the earth, keeping a long straight spine, lower all the way down to the belly. Press into the tops of your feet, press into your hips, palms down by the sides, inhale, lift up for cobra. Upper arm bones roll back. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more big breath in. And an open mouth. Look forward, come to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, palms and gaze, reach up to the sky. Exhale, hands through the heart center, down by the sides. Again, inhale, root, down, rise, up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, high push up. One breath to reset. This time we can lower the knees or choose to keep them lifted. We're lowering the chaturanga, shoulders no lower than the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. If your thighs are down, you're bending at the elbows. Downward facing dog. Three breaths. After your third exhale, look forward, come to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back high to low push up. You're in up dog, the thighs are lifted, arms are straight. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward, step to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach, 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 lift. Exhale, hands through the heart, down by the sides. Bend at the knees, chair pose, sink deep into the sit bones. 
Letting the tailbone descend, front of the hips lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. High to low push up. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the feet together at the back of your mat. Inhale, lift your right leg as high as you can. Feeling a long line of energy from your fingertips through your right foot. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, round through your back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Reach. Round. Gently plant your right foot down. Lower the left knee to the earth, modified crescent lunge. So we can stay here using blocks or books as blocks. Sliding that back knee forward so you come onto the meaty part. You can also roll up the back end of your mat. Create a little extra cushion. Wherever we are, we start to lift through the heart. Being sure the front knee is stacked over the front ankle. Maybe you can start to walk your hands up towards your right knee, towards your hips, towards your heart center, maybe even all the way up to the sky. Three more breaths. Exhale, hands to the earth. Three options here. You can just step the right foot back to down dog. You can flow through a vinyasa as we have been, or keep the right leg lifted for an added challenge. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Feet together, inhale, lift the left leg as high as you can. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one, reach, contract, use that lifting, plant your left foot, lower your right knee down, set yourself up here, stacking the joints, using the props if we need, rolling up the mat if we need. When we're ready, you rise up towards your left knee, towards your hips, your heart, all the way up, yogi's choice, three breaths. Exhale, hands to the earth. Same options again. Step it back. Flow it out as you have been. Or adding that added challenge. Full body breath in. And out. Look to your hands. Come to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, one breath. Exhale to neutral standing, hands down by the sides. Whew, we feel warmed up. We're going to build off of that just a bit. So chair pose, sink deep into the sit bones. Exhale, hands to the heart. Gain length. Exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow hooks outside of the right knee. Keeping your knees behind your toes. Squared forward, start to peel the chest up to the sky. Inhale, lengthen your tailbone back, crown of your head forward. Exhale, twist. Breath in, twist. Last one. And release for ragdoll. Take your feet at least two hip width distance apart. Grab onto your pointer and your big toes with your pointer and your middle finger. Inhale, bend the knees, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Now you can choose to half lift and fold with breath, or maybe stillness is what feels good for you here. Two more breaths. Chill heel your feet back together. Half lift and fold. Chair pose. Hands to heart center, take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist to the left. Square yourself off, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Deep breath in and rinse. Last one. Look down, ragdoll. 
Make, you can make fists with your hands and pound down the sides and back with your thighs, glutes. Give yourself a little release. Take a big breath in together, open mouth, and releasing the hands, bringing them to the earth, toe healing your feet back together, halfway lift, make your way chaturanga, inhale up dog or cobra, exhale downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge, you can lower your knee the same way we did before, or keep the back knee lifted, rising up slowly to, the, to your right knee, to your hips, hands to the heart or up to the sky. Three breaths. Hands come down to the heart center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. Maybe you need to lower down onto your back knee now. Start to shift the gaze over towards the right side. Pressing your left heel back. Crown of your head reaches forward. Ooh, <laughs> gets a little wobbly. Just take your stance wider and set your gaze to one spot. Big breath in and twist. Last one. You're going to look down. Frame your right foot. Lower your back knee to the earth and start to walk your hips back. Untucking the back toes. Staying high on your fingertips on your blocks, on your books. Toes flex back towards your face. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, just hinge at the hip, fold forward. Deep breath in and fold. One more. Very slowly start to shift your weight forward. This is very important. We flex through the right toes, flex through the knife edge of your right foot. You're going to bring both palms inside of your right foot. Start to walk your right foot out to face about one or two o'clock. Then you press into the knife edge as you start to sink your hips down. Your right knee is going to come to splay out and your arch is going to lift up to the sky. Keep sinking your hips down and forward, keeping your chest lifted. Shoulders relax down your back. One more big breath in together. Open mouth, curl your back toes under, take your hands wider, lift through the back knee, step your right foot up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog, maybe you open up the hip and place that foot back down to the earth. Pausing just in down dog for a moment to notice the differences in left and right in your body. Big breath in, open mouth, left foot steps forward, stay high on the ball of your right. Start to lift through the gaze when you're ready, crescent lunge. Yogi's choice on the hands placement, three breaths. Hands come to heart center, inhale. Exhale, twist to your left, right elbow outside your left knee. You can lower your right knee down to the earth. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Three, two, one. Look down, plant your hands, come onto the back knee, untuck the toes, then we'll bring both hands inside of the left foot, start to walk the left foot out, pressing into the knife edge of your left foot, so we're not rolling at the ankle, press, 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 gently let the knee open up. Keep the heart lifted. With every exhale, try to sink in more into your mat. Letting any tension, any stress go along with it.
very gently. Start to hug that knee back in and we'll walk our hands back. Straightening out over this left leg here. Inhale, gain length through the heart, flex through the toes. Exhale, hinge forward. Shift your weight forward. Untuck the back toes. Coming into a three-legged dog, maybe opening up. And lowering that foot down to the earth, coming onto your knees, onto your back, and setting up for bridge pose. So you want your heels close to your bum, but not too close. Feet are about hip-width distance apart once again. And we press into the palms, press into the feet, squeeze the legs together, start to press the tailbone forward and up, lifting one vertebrae at a time. Gently lifting through the chin to keep a natural curve in your neck. You can start to walk the shoulder blades in. Maybe interlace your hands at your low back. We're going to stay here for 10 breaths. Trying to find softness amidst the balance of effort. Three more breaths. Very gently, same way you came out one vertebrae at a time. Lower back down onto the back, let your knees go from left to right. Releasing the fascia, allowing to come back to neutral. And we'll make our way up to an extended leg position. Flex through your toes, inhale, palms and gaze, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Deep breath in and out. Doing your best to stay engaged in the lower body. So allowing the upper body to reach forward versus down. Very gently make your way back up to seated. Come onto our backs. So if you have a free wall space around you, you can come into the fetal pose on the right side and then swing the legs up. Or you can simply Stack your hips on top of a block, on top of a book, or even just on top of your palms as you lift your feet up. There's lots of fun inversions, much more challenging. This is a very nice passive restorative posture that does the exact same thing for your body. Allowing your breath to slowly start to turn to normal. Feeling all that hard work you've done, pumping your blood full of oxygen, rushing down your legs, Replenishing your vital organs, your intestines. Now I invite you to stay here as long as you'd like. You can spend your whole Shavasana here. Doing at least two minutes a day is so beneficial to your health. Whenever you're ready, coming out of your inversion, Taking your legs out nice and long, right back to where we began. Full circle here. And taking these last few minutes of our practice to notice a difference now versus the beginning of it. Feeling your body completely supported, completely at ease. And you can stay here in your Shavasana for as long as time won't allow. Setting your gaze to one spot at the back of your eyelids. Simply watching your breath, watching your thoughts. The 
you like class today, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, tell me how you feel. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste.